All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is uh, continue on and finish out um, getting our load button screen or its buttons set up and working just like we did with the main menu. And we're gonna move on and do the settings and then the quit menu as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the things that we need to think about um, is the back button. And we, of course, want the back button to do what? We wanted to set active or inactive the load button and inactive or active the main menu. So um, let's go ahead and do that really quick. It's pretty simple. It's just like the other way, just reverse. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna select the button. We know we need an on-click event, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we need to go to our scene management and we want to do the back button. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste this and I'm gonna rename it. And I'm gonna call this load back button, right? Because we're gonna have two different actions for that. So let's see here. And, and for that, we're gonna do the, we're going to take the load game menu. Where is it, where is it? Load menu. And we're going to put that one here. And we're gonna put the main menu here, right? So we want that one active and then this one inactive. And of course, I'm gonna always double check to make sure that it's indeed working. And I'm gonna take this and put it there. And I'm gonna go actions and then execute. So that should work. Now, I just thought ideally what you could do, since you have two back buttons, one for the low game screen and one for the settings screen. So you could actually have it to where the actions here could actually close multiple windows and it just takes you back to the main menu. And so that you could actually just have a back button and we can try that and see if it works, right? And that's the beauty of using uh, Game Creator because you can kind of see things and you go, oh, let's see if that works. So I'm gonna actually do this. I'm going to take the this and paste it and then I'm gonna take the settings menu and put it here as well and you can go even so far to say you can do the no button that way for the quit one as well so what we can do is do that again and we'll see how that works so I'm going to do the quit screen or the quit panel and put that here so we can use this as just a general back button but just keep in mind if you want some specific actions for a certain so if you want this low game to check for something specific you may want to have a button just for this back or whatnot so but anyway let's go ahead and check and see how this works all right so we have our back buttons working um let's go ahead and test that out i already set that up all right perfect so let's hit the load menu, I'm gonna turn that off. And then, there we go. All right, and so now if we hit load, and then we hit back, we can kinda of go back and forth, just like so. All right, perfect. All right, so that works out pretty good, pretty good. All right, and so we can do the same thing for the settings screen. So now all we have to do is go to settings and then go to the, turn it on, and we just go to the back button there and we can actually just add in this here and we can just add back button actions and we can just do actions execute. 
And just to make sure that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Settings back. Look at that. All right, perfect. All right, and so now let's go ahead and do the quit. Let's go ahead and hit that one. And it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna quit? And we're gonna say, no, we don't wanna quit. And so let's see here. So we're gonna click on the no button and we're gonna hit that. We're gonna take this and put this here and we're gonna hit execute. Now for the yes button, we want to go ahead and put the actions in for that now, okay? So what we can do is now create another set of actions. And what we're going to do is say copy paste. This button is going to be a yes button. And that yes button is not going to do all of these things. It's simply going to quit the application. So what we're going to do is go down to, uh, let's see where it's at. Is it gonna be save and load or scene? Nope, I think it's under application, quit game, there we go. All right, and so now this is gonna simply exit the game, okay? So now what we're gonna do is hit yes, and we're gonna go to the button, and we're gonna add this yes button actions and it's going to execute those things. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off our quit menu panel. And hit play. So if we hit quit, we go to quit, we hit no, it goes back. And if you hit yes, it should fire off. So since it's since we're not actually running a build version of this and we're in the editor it's not going to do it but let's verify a couple things so like i said actions are run from top down so what we can do is go here and add a debug message and we can put a debug message here and we can say game quit just like that something simple all right so now what i'm gonna do is just put that there Actually, I'll leave it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Quit. And as you can see here in the console, it just said game quit. Perfect. And, and another thing you notice is how quickly I was able to just go ahead and add that there. And that's the beauty of being able to have these little um, scene management with all your different actions. You can just say, hey, I need this yes button to do something else. And so you just go to it very quickly so if you wanted to do something like play a sound or play a certain music or something or change the volume or whatever the case may be you can do that very quickly and add actions to do that so we're just going to leave that like that and let's see what else do we have left all right so we did the quick game button uh let's see let's go back to the load menu And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. So now with the load menu, I'm gonna go ahead and set these buttons up now. Um, but the, the main thing with these are, you're not gonna actually be able to use them yet. And that's because there's no game to load. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you what that kind of looks like. So with the first button selected, I can go to add component, I can do actions and I can actually go to save and load. Now here it's going to show you where you can load a game, you can load last game, etc. So we're just going to load game and we're going to do use current profile. So instead of actually using the current profile, what we're going to do is check this box. 
Now below that, it's going to show you where it says select profile. Now you see it obviously has a number one here and that's going to be because you're going to have different profiles. So we're going to have three. So what we're going to do is each button when it's clicked, it's going to load profile one, load profile two, load profile three. Now when you're in your game, however, what you're going to do is save to certain profiles. And so when we create a save a game menu, when you hit save game and you click the menu to actually save the game, you're going to save to profile one. And then when you load the game, you're going to click load profile one and it's going to match up. So we'll get into that into the next video. But for now, we're good to go. And everything on our main menu seems to be working um, in our next video will get us to a new scene where new game is going to work. We're going to finally get that button going and then we're going to take another look at our load um, game menu and then also our save game menu. So I'll see you guys then soon.